Oh boy, Mike. You know what? I can't wait. You. You doing all right? Mike. Where are we? In the same place we've always. In the same place we've always been. Where the fuck are we? House meeting! Everyone downstairs! <laughs> Ugh. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Yeah, there's like seven rooms in this house. How the hell did you get lost? I get confused easily! Okay, so anyway, where the fuck are we and how did we get here? I still don't get what he's talking about. I mean, clearly this is the same house we've always been in. Oh no, 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 no. For once, A.V. is right. Something about this bitch ain't right, and I, for one, ain't sticking around to see what it is. Seen enough Scooby-Doo to know while us white people will live on, we will not live long enough before one of us is turned into monster trucks! That is not how Scooby-Doo works. Guys, are we dead? Like hell dead? Like seriously though, I can't do it. I can't do it. We cannot do this. We cannot be in hell right now. We can't. This is fucking bullshit, right? Life is hell for those who live in this twisted world. We are forced to call life. Why are you here? Seriously, like why are you here? Are you not caught in that get up you have over there? Who hurt you? Don't touch me. You know, this might be a bad time to mention it, but um... Is anyone else excited for Doom Eternal? Damn, am I excited about Doom Eternal! Even now that I'm trapped in this purgatorial house, all I can think about is this sweet track from the man, the myth, the legend, Mick Gordon. Symphony of Heavy Metal. Well, I already made a lot of videos on Doom, whether it be Brutal Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, or the actual sequel to Doom 2. That's right, I said it! So what am I excited about for Doom Eternal? Well, I'm glad you asked, you mysterious mask marauder. May my mother's mole mail my misery more to mood... Fuck it, just start the video. Now, I think it goes without being said that this game is looking pretty fucking dope, and I don't use that phrase lightly. Game journalists with quotation marks aside trying to play Doom like my mom aside, this game looks fucking awesome. Now, I've heard some swell things about it already with lucky bastards that got a three hour preview of the actual game, and from those who wasted being dumb like this. Come on, what are you doing? You fucking jump! Jump! Just go over the thing! Stop! Oh, stop! Go back! Stop! Jump! Fucking jump! Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop! Get, how do you walk into fire like that? What are you doing? Fucking platforming? Question mark? I've heard that besides doing sweet parkour and like following the main path, the only times that these will get annoying is if you're seeking 100% completion as a secret item and bonuses will probably be hidden behind these things and honestly it doesn't look bad, just weird. I'm sure I'll be fine. Guns and more guns. Honestly, just look like reskins with cooler mods. I mean, you want to look at me and tell me that the chain gun shotgun is a dumb idea? Because you'd be dumb. Hate to break it to you. Oh, so we got flamethrower now, but I get into that later. MOVEMENT! Which looks the same as platforming parkour and dashing! Neat. Get in fodder! 
because the Doom game isn't complete without hordes of enemies to chainsaw your way through. From the talks and videos, it seems id made this game slightly more methodical. Now you can weaken some of your enemies by shooting them in just the right way. The Erectantron is a ranged enemy, but shoot its cannon and it becomes a melee fighter. Shoot his sticky grenade in the Cacodemon's mouth and he will eat it and blow up a couple times. Shoot the Mancubus' arm cannons and I imagine either the damage would be reduced or the range will be reduced. I haven't seen or heard much about him. That might be my fault. So on top of controlling the hordes of demons, managing your ammo by hitting demons with chainsaws, health by glory killing them, armor by roasting their mortally challenged ass, keeping track of the power-ups and pickups in the area, how to use the arena to your advantage, now you can damage the enemy to give yourself a stronger foothold in the winning! And people say this game is mindless violence. And don't get me wrong, it is, but like, there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. So one day, Id went up to Mick Gordon and said, Hey, you wanna whip up some heavy metal music for this game we're working on? He said, Okay, went away, worked many a sleepless nights for some sample music, and came to Id with a gift from the heavens! Or hell! I don't know, but it's fucking awesome! Now, I'm not expecting anything more than the usual, the super heavy guitar song like Rip and Tear. <laughs> The all-time fan favorite, like BFG Division. The underrated gem, like Transistor Fist. In summary, there's nothing I'm expecting from this department, just more of what I like from the first game. Which, you know, every sequel should be. No joke, sequels these days are fucking terrible! But sequels in the comments below. Furthermore, stop watching this video and check out the Wattpad! That's the last plug of 2020, I swear. One more thing. The HUD. Probably one of the biggest problems people had with this game besides the Doom Guy grunting. Now, in 2016, the HUD's fine. It tells you what you need to know. Hell Shield, Ammo Chainsaw, BFG. All nice, tight, and clean, and pleasing to look at. Now it looks like this. Important to note that, yes, Hugo Martin and his team is aware that he is making a video gamey ass fucking video game. Did that make sense? No! Extralized, platforming, classic looking redesigns, Ripatorium, I will say that one more time. Ripatorium! And look at how colorful this HUD is. It's literally penetrating my eyes with these colors and safe to say, no one fucking liked it! But it's okay, because as of a recent look at the game, you can now change the HUD's color, size, display, date of birth, first girlfriend, mother's maiden name, and what pops up during gameplay. And to be honest, I think this whole video game aesthetic is worked well, and besides all of that, this game looking like a real sequel, more of what we love from the original game. Did I say that already? Yeah. But it's safe to say that I doubt this game is going to be disappointing, and I'm already advocating this game to be Game of the Year, and anyone who disagrees with me is getting a BFG 10,000 to the FUCKING FACE! You know as soon as they get made. <laughs>